Hey guys, quick video. This is part two of the the new land pro program thing I am working on. Uh, we're starting the video just in your regular truck that's on a shuttle. Yes. This is a demonstration flight of the expedition truck on board a shuttle. S um, if you've seen the previous video, I doubt you've seen because it's a minute long. Uh, we're going to be trying to land at there. So we've got everything set up here. Uh, we've already loaded with the complicated, uh, very, <laughs> a very complicated loading system. This. Uh, well, what else is there to see? Let's go. Uh, today we're flying at a lower than a normal altitude. Uh, 2.5 kilometers instead of 3.5. Which should not be causing issues as we all always have a long descent anyways. It should just, you know make this ascent a bit shorter and you know give us more time to show about 24 kilometers to go it, it'll go very fast I'll take about five minutes max uh, here I just show you the inside yeah we've got navigator and driver uh, pretty nice interior it's uh, sorry uh, modeled after a German truck uh, I think it was remember correctly I'll drop information on discord anyway uh, it's got your average stuff, uh, a GPS screen which can be tilted towards the driver and everything. I forgot to plug that in, I just remembered. Uh, headli uh, headlights, fog lights, uh, additional lights which are top and bottom. Uh, engine instrumentation. Stuff like, a ra you have a radio system. Uh, that's, the ha that's the parking brake, uh, that's the normal thing. We're soon coming up to altitude. so. I do know, uh, yes, I'll have to say yes, I am aware of the fact that we have wheels sticking out the bottom and pieces sticking out the top. That is uh, because this was a two hour build because I spent two full days getting the last stage of a rocket trying to work to launch these two. And to be honest, uh, with the update coming today officially because so it's past midnight, um, I was not making something it. That's why this thing is so simple. I am not making anything like that. I took a risk uh getting something new. Uh I'll I'll now show you I've lit uh, by the way I've literally filmed this five times in a row, baby. And I always run into the same problem of getting over. So here we have the generator section. Uh generator with a manual hand crank if you need. M general uh uh, connect uh, control panel here. For it, I. That's uh, what happens when you're going that fast. Uh, that's the that's the normal habitat zone sealed. You know. Uh, here we have uh, access to manual generators and manual cutoffs and batteries. You know, just in case uh, fuel valves cutoffs for whatever reason. To uh, a bunk bed. Well, too bad uh, for your crew. Uh, here we have the 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 rover control control center or control system um, for the rover, which I showed in the first video. Um, some outfits I'll show them deployed when we get on the ground. Uh, battery batteries. We have four different medium batteries in here, plus some additionals. Kitchen, uh, equipment, storages, weather systems, animal control. I have, I, I didn't really, I didn't really want to put them in, but I did anyways. I'll show you the rest in a bit as we are about to approach our destination. Um, we should be landing as close to the target as possible. Always the case. I tried to get, uh, tried to get in within 200 meters of it, which is quite well, quite a small distance in game. Like if you look at a, a radius, so called this radius. But you know, just you know, so just in case, with the rover, I'll be trying to find. Uh, very quickly, I'll be trying to find uh, the smallest zone, what well, the largest zone possible, with the smallest uh, level ch change of s level. Uh, we're going to switch off, separate, 
Here we go. Very good. That's just because we might have just hit a bit. Uh, you know, just so we, just in case something goes slightly wrong, it, it happens. That's why we prevent. This is looking very promising at the moment. And I'll show you the rest since we're here. So I was showing you your yeah, kitchen, every equipment. Uh, my favorite part here is Star Dome or Sky Sky Dome. Uh, just an observatory bit. I don't know. I find it very neat. It's very simple. I, I've made a. At some point, I liked it so much I made it in like almost every thing. Uh, table. This might get updated. I, I was not too fan of too much a fan of this. So everything. Uh, the door. You don't want to go through that yet. And we'll we'll quickly get back here to for the landing sequence, which will happen very soon. We're we're very close on target actually. I just, I just hope we're not too. See, I should have put the point on the runway because we're we're slightly past the runway, and my theory is always trees. Obviously, the new land is going to be a desert, so I would very much assume that we don't get too many trees there. We soon got to get the tiny arm deployments, which are distant sensors, and there we go, retros. I do hate the fact that the lights, uh, well, the rock. Rocket exhaust go off to save a rocket. And there we go. Would you look at that? That is a very neat laddick. We don't care about that. There we are. Let's just. <laughs> we should just drive off. I'll show you uh, if there's anything else to be seen. Um. So that's about it. That's that's that is exactly how we're going to land on the new on the new map. If I get the DLC, if it, like I always say, if it's too expensive, I'm not gonna get it. I I have a wage. Every, everyone does. We we can't just spend millions on this. Uh, just quick feature on this. Yeah, uh, the bumper retracts. You know, so you get additional clearance here. Good enough clearance on the front. Plus, you have good access. Um. If the engine were to break, you'll have an engine access here I've included. Hmm. Well, we would remove the rocket anyway. Uh, we have access, so you can slightly go along, but I don't want to make it too long here. Battery C, we see. Battery A. Battery B and D. Uh, on the top, we have uh, solar panels. All the rovers, uh, radio and video, uh, video and radio systems, along uh, 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 with as well the the normal uh, radios bank. Weather stuff, as I showed earlier, transponder, altimeter, emergency battery here. There's a second emergency battery there. This is all controls for the rover. And that's about it. If you go on top here, you have a hatch the top uh, but you can also access through, through here uh, your wheel uh, I did have add these just in case something were to really happen and that's about it or oh, we do have a compartment an empty compartment here and this one has cables and ties as it was initially thought that instead of using this thing we would have two trucks, but I'm alone. I'm a, well, I'm lonely, so there's no point of having two trucks. And I would actually use the towing, uh, th those hooks to flip them around. I, I've got, I've got points everywhere. Even got a magnet system. There we go. And that's about it. Um, final accuracy is off. Oh yeah, yeah. I fifty meters roughly. I I just uh, invalidated my uh, test. Oh no, we also have that top top storage, not in use at the moment. I just I just find it very neat. I'll remove that if I need to. And that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment. Send me a Discord. You know what to do. Uh, and thank you for watching. And have yourself a great day.